Hi, it's me again with Grilled Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and wanted a three millimeter cut line around it. They evidently make stickers. And this is kind of an unusual uh, idea because everything's uh, got some white in it. Uh, if we take away the background, you can't see the white letters. That's fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put an outline around this one. The reason he can't get it done is he's got these leaks right here. There's three of them. Everything else is solid all the way around. So, and I don't know what happened to your pin tools down here, but I'm gonna hit F12 on the keyboard without anything selected. And I'm gonna make my hairline, I'm gonna, that's fine. I mean, black's fine. Uh, well, he uses probably CMYK for, for printing, so he can adjust that. But what we need to do is, is make some, what I want to call dams. And I think it'd be better if you use your three point curve line and just kind of go from that node to that node and maybe give a little bit of a curve. Now, with that said, he still make them hairline. Hairline's going to work better because uh, the when we do it later, it's going to come right up to it and not have anything in the way. This one, we could probably just go straight then maybe go down here and change them to hairline. Doesn't matter what color. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take a rectangle and just make sure you get all the drawing, the top, the sides. And this thing is 69 millimeters. We're going to set our nudge factor on 100. And I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, set on red. I'm going to fill that in. Now, there's two ways to do this. We can left click, right click, and then get rid of that line. I actually prefer just taking the Smart Fill tool and fill it in that line. And then left click, right click, and make it a hairline. And then move it over. And there is your contour cut line around your item. Now he's, he mentioned three millimeters, so it's still, um, uh, it's always the last thing you, you could go away and come back and the last thing, you know, you go over here and the last thing you touch is selected. Then we're gonna go to effects and contour. To the outside, one time, three millimeters with rounded corners and you get right there. Go to effects, no, excuse me, go to object, break contour apart. We'll go and turn this one red and move it down. And then that way, once we move the box out of the way, whoop, you have a contour. Now, keep in mind, uh, go back and remove our little lines. Just remember that you had three of them because they will print, maybe. They're hair lines, but maybe they'll print. So that's how I would do a three millimeter contour around that item. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.